So the Hope for Autumn Foundation is a wonderful foundation that supports our Phase 1 program at Children's of Alabama. And it does two things for us. One, it supports our Phase 1 families and allows us to uh, give them monetary support for their travels here to the city of Birmingham. And two, it also gives us the opportunity to attempt to cure uh, pediatric cancer here in Alabama. There's tons of support uh, locally for this event. It just shows uh, how much people really believe in this foundation. So eat crawfish and give hope. My name is Summer Thompson and I was diagnosed when I was eight years old with AML leukemia and that's a blood cancer and at the time when I was diagnosed it wasn't very like it wasn't seen a lot in children and uh, I was one of the first kids who went through my treatment protocol and stuff so it was really scary but tomorrow will be nine years since I was diagnosed and nine years is a long time to be off treatment. The support of friends and family and Hope Broaden Foundation and other foundations like that that's really what like gets you through it so it's really a blessing. It's really important to me to see all these people coming out here and uh, supporting Hope for Autumn Foundation and Child Cancer Research. So eat crawfish and give hope. We're the Reader Family. I'm Brett. And I'm Amanda. And this is Charlie Jean. Charlie Jean was diagnosed with neuroblastoma on April 27th of 2013. She underwent treatments until April 25th of 2014, and today is her one year celebration of no cancer treatments. It's one of those situations where you think, you know, it's never gonna happen to us. It's not gonna be us that's gonna be affected like by something like childhood cancer or by a cancer that only affects one in every 600 kids in America or a cancer that usually has a 30 to 40% survival rate, you know? And then all of a sudden you're faced with these things and like you just don't know what to do. And if it wasn't for organizations like the uh, Hope for Autumn Foundation, you know, we really would have not been able to make it with all the medical bills and costs. Um, they reached out to us at a time where we were really in need. They just continue to kind of keep you in the fold by you inviting you to events like this and raising the awareness and raising the research funds. To feel that love around you and uh, feel that support is something that we can never express in words and that we try to just follow through in our lives. Eat crawfish, give hope. Eat crawfish, give hope. Yeah. <laughs>